choice possible? Well, it has been one of the most debated questions. Some scientists, particularly physicists, are convinced that time travel is possible. There are numerous suggested ways out there, but these are, are the two of the most popular. Traveling through wormholes and black holes. Einstein suggested the existence of bridges through time and space, which are also known as wormholes. A wormhole would allow an object to travel from one point to another faster than the speed of light by taking a shortcut through space-time, meaning the object won't break the rule of the so-called universal speed limit, which is the speed of light. The basic idea is, if you're very, very optimistic, if you fiddle with a wormhole openings, you can make it not only a shortcut from a point in space to another point in space, but a shortcut from one moment in time to another moment in time. Black holes. Another theory are the supermassive black hole described by Professor Hawking as natural time machines. Black holes are so dense that they have a dramatic impact on time, slowing it down more than anything else in the universe. If a spaceship were to orbit a black hole, those on board would only experience 8 minutes of time for every 16 minute orbit. Around and around they go, experiencing just half the time of everyone far away from the black hole. The ship and its crew would be traveling through time. Imagine if they circled the black hole for five years. Ten years would pass everywhere. When they get home, everyone on Earth would have aged five years more than they had. Today, we will try to draw a black hole or a wormhole, and you may also put your creative spin into your drawings, like you may draw a spacecraft somewhere on the page. Then next week, whatever you draw today, you can use it as a blueprint to create a 3D model of a time machine using the materials that I asked you to prepare last week. If you can create a time machine based on the theories of black hole, wormhole, and space-time warps, how will it look like? What will you call it? You don't need to make the 3D model now, as we have two sessions for this exercise. If you have a free time, you may start constructing it. Feel free to add more than the items I have suggested. Next week, be prepared to zoom in with me and show your friends your invention or creation. Hey kids! It is important to remember that all of these theories have scientific and mathematical basis developed by some of the most brilliant minds in history. They still remain as mere theories and still need to be proven.